Shop, Tiana T. Yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with another reaction video. So we know about Leslie, we know about Clarence, and we already seen what Clarence had to say, and we seen how Leslie broke down. What we have not seen is Leslie's recent ex chiming in, because he matters the most. The most recent guy who dealt with you knows what you're like now, and that matters more than how people felt about you three years ago. So. Without further ado, let's get straight into the tea. We're going to be reacting to uh, the voice for the people. Into another video with your girl Kim. I am back with another video. So this is part two to the video that I posted up yesterday. If you have not seen that video, make sure you check that video out first. But I will be answering questions in this video. But before I start answering questions, Leslie X came forward and somebody actually... Pause. He looked like Clarence. He looked a little bit shorter than Clarence, even though he's sitting down, but he looked good too. See, she ain't got no problem pulling no fine man. I don't know why she's like over here doing all that for Clarence, man. He just as fine. And in some ways, he's even finer. So what's her problem? Let's continue. Tagged him in a post because obviously everybody's talking about it. Somebody said, it's been three years. Why are you hysterically crying? She Thanks. has had multiple partners after though. It's time to let that hurt go. Right, wasn't she with the singer Jeremiah? Well, Jer Jeremiah got more clout than Clarence and her last dude, like, built together. So, like, what? Why are we even having this conversation? I have a singer. He has been commenting on her last few pictures, which are com And first of all, his name is uh, Real Jose. It looks like Jose. Jose Vargas. He got a Spanish last name. She's Spanish. They got stuff in common. So like, why is she, why is she tripping over Clarence non-speaking Spanish ass? Makes no sense. So they were talking, but I don't know. And she just got out of a relationship with the professional boxer. And then the professional boxer, who is now her ex, she's a little bit lost. She needs counsel and someone help her. Now this is the... If Jose says you a little bit lost, and you need counseling, someone to help you. You got a whole lot more issues than you trying to show us. You up here trying to show us that, oh yeah, I'm so innocent and I'm so sweet and Clarence did me so dirty, but your most recent ex, who fine too, he can get other girls too, but he's doing your ass, saying you a little bit lost. He put a whole sad face emoji. A whole sad like, I tried to help and I couldn't do nothing. That's what I'm seeing from that. She needs counseling, someone help her. He is. He didn't even take the decency to make that emoji. He put an actual sad face, like he dead serious. Like he literally put a colon and a parentheses, like he old school texting. Like he is dead serious saying that she got issues. That's beyond me. That's beyond Clarence. Obviously, as you can see, but like her pity party she throwing for the uh, internet don't make no sense. Cause oh dude didn't need her. Oh dude got a boxing career, and that's way more low key. Cause I don't know who he is. He's way more low key than Clarence and. It seemed like she'd be able to deal with that better, but like, I don't know what their relationship was like, but since he wants to step into the shade room, he might as well step to uh, YouTube too, but continuing on. As do she was in a relationship with, but they are not in a relationship anymore. And now I don't know if she moved on to Jeremiah the singer. Why are you always coming for the women who are hurt by these cheating men? You always take sides of the cheating men in all drama, why? As a woman, you should be in the first position to understand the pain women feel. When it comes to this situation, Let's just talk about this situation because I don't even know what others. I be getting that too in my real life. It's kind of like a, you got to be fair. Don't just be like, take a side just because she's a fellow woman. Like that's biased. That's wrong. And I feel her like Clarence ain't giving us no reason to say he's a cheater. He ain't giving us no reason to say he's been abusing queen. He ain't giving us no reason to make us think he's like an ain't shit dude. So therefore, why are we going to be on her side three years later? She's not going to factor queen happy. Queen just got a whole Birkin. Why, why is we pressed about the ex and going to worry about what the ex got to say that happened three years ago? It don't make no sense. This is you talking about. But I get that it's been three years and I get that you've been holding three whole years, in, right? But I would never in my life give E.T. man the benefit of the doubt publicly or privately to even know how I feel after he tells me. She can speak straight facts. Hold on. Exactly. She gave Clarence so much of a boost. He already thought he was that nigga. Now you just confirmed to him times three 
that he that nigga. Because you still tripping after Jeremiah your DMs. If Jeremiah my DMs, fuck a Clarence. Fuck a Jose Vargas. Who the fuck cares? But look, I digress. That he realized that he didn't need me. I would never give him that satisfaction. I wouldn't shed a tear. I wouldn't have a conversation. I might have shared a, I might have shed a tear, but it's gonna be a private tear. It's gonna be a tear that me and only my bedroom know, me and my pillow, me and maybe one close friend, but the internet? Fuck y'all. I wouldn't post up a video. You would never get my energy ever again in your Period. life. Period. I would save those tears. I would save my energy. I would save my next word for a nigga that said he needs me. I've never I fuck with her, but exactly when he said you weren't the woman I needed, girl, girl, I would deactivate all my accounts. I would have took like two months to go away because you know it'll take like two months of like being disappeared to for make people forget about you and forget about the whole situation. So I would roll my two months out, put my shades on, put a New York moment with the sunglasses and just chilling. I would have chilled out at the crib. Exactly. He ain't coming back, sis. He ain't coming back, but whew. Looked at myself as trying to belittle somebody or belittle a woman. My feedback might come off a little. That's my thing. They getting on her about, hey, you're not on the girl's side. Like, as fellow women, we got to stick together. As fellow women, we do. And as a fellow woman, Leslie took shots at Queen that should have not been taken. Like, she went far. She don't know what Queen been through. She don't know what Queen... Went through, obviously, with Chris about her last baby. Let me let me speak on that real quick. She's talking about, oh, she knew the one thing that keep him away from me is getting pregnant. First of all, Queen didn't want to be pregnant. Queen was so freaking embarrassed about being pregnant. Queen said many times, like, I didn't plan this. I didn't want this. Because she was just trying to start her career back up. And she sat there and got pregnant. You think she wanted to be pregnant? You also think that she was confident in her pregnancy? She over here complaining about, oh, I might not be able to have a kid and all that. Queen lost a kid. Did y'all forget about that? Queen lost one with Chris and like that that hurts. So you think that she was that confident to have uh Clarence's baby? No, no, she wasn't. And Leslie, she reached really hard and I was really upset about that and didn't express the full extent of my irritation, but like Leslie reached hard as hell with that. Aggressive, because I'm just New York. You know what I mean? I'm from New York. So I'm a little aggressive when I talk, but my message, if you get past the delivery, my message makes up. I'm the same way in person. My friends be like, damn, you said it so harshly. I'm just like, it ain't about how I said it. It's the contents of what I said. Take it as it is. If you need to like make it all pretty, pretty up yourself. But like what I'm saying is raw and true and authentic. Like that's pure, genuine from my heart. Take it as that and not feel this. A lot of sense. You know what I mean? So I I, I just wanted to put that out there because that 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 kind of hit a nerve a little bit. You know what I mean? Got me all choked up. Because <laughs> I've been there. I've been in a position where I was hurt and I felt some type of way. And I had some powerful women around me that was like, yo, what? If you don't get choked? Where are her friends? Exactly. Where is her parents? Where is her mama? She was talking about Clarence's mama loved me and Clarence's mama believed in me. Where is your mama? Because my friends ain't gonna let me go out bad like that. Cause I I went out bad a couple times in my life when I was just down sad. I was complaining. I couldn't have a conversation. I bring up the dude name saying like I don't know why he did that. Or like I don't know why he talked to this person. Like I got my friends nervous. Guess what? They're not gonna let me go out in public and be sad. They're not gonna let me like show that I'm sad in front of him. They made me boss up for real for real. But my friends gonna tell me be like, hey, you being a punk. Like get your shit together. And I'd be like, all right, I don't wanna hear it. But I'd be like, all right, okay, cool, Leslie. Need better friends. What? And who are you? You know what I mean? Remember who you are. They might say it's a man's world. Who is you, you bitch? For this? And when I see a woman fall short and fall victim to some bullshit. Come on, sis. You ain't had to go out like that. All you had to say was, I did not write the book. Period. Exactly. I said the same thing. I was like, why are you going to all that time? So I'm going to start by like how me and Clarence met, how our relationship went, and then I'm going to get to that. Like, did you write the book or no? Do you know who wrote the book or no? And then wish Queen well. That's all you got to do. All that hater and bitterness that came out the end, like she folded. Like she folded so quick. What is that? What are you talking about? Clarence said something about her daddy first. I hate that comment. 
I seen that comment like a thousand times in rows. I'm just like, that's some petty ass victim shit. That's some like, oh, she had a reason. You just that's that's people who have to find reasons to argue. But Clarence has to address why he left and he had to relive. Because basically, her bringing all this up, he had to relive what he went through. He wouldn't think about that. He's happy. He had a whole kid. He wouldn't think about that. Clarence had to relive that moment. He had to relive that anger. And then things just come up. And then basically, as he was feeling like that and how she felt all pity and like talking about all that, Clarence had to throw it in and saying like, yo, daddy didn't believe in me, but you didn't believe in me. And you let your daddy talk about me. Like that hurts. That hurts a man's pride. When... I guess, you know, he's from New York. You know, he's supposed to be able to provide. Clarence ain't got his daddy around him. Clarence is trying to be the best man he can. And here you are, letting your daddy talk shit. Here you are, sabotaging his plans, sabotaging his energy, just trying to, like, basically drag him back to where he is. He's trying to, like, expand. That hurts. That's all Clarence was saying. Like, hey, like, y'all want to know what happened? Like, I'm going to let you know. Like, basically, her daddy was talking shit about me. And like Liz put me through all this. And it's just, it's something that we needed to know because honestly, she over here talking like she all innocent and everything, but it wasn't all good in the hood. If your daddy, if her daddy didn't like him, that is animosity forever. Come on, let's be real. I see this a lot in the comments where people were saying that, oh, he mentioned her father first. Clarence said in Barely. his video that he saw a text message in Leslie's phone. And that message, which was from Leslie's Pause. We have still got, we have still not got a confirmation on whether Clarence was just creeping on her phone or he just had the password and she was saying, look, I ain't been doing nothing and that popped up. We, we still need clarification on how this all came about. Other in Leslie's phone, which was belittling him, basically telling her to break up with him. But keep in mind, that was still yet a conversation that was direct. It seems like she had all the support she needed. She sat there and said, oh, it took it took me everything I had in me to ignore him, to like not go back, because uh, I always go back. So it took me a lot to not go back. She had support. Her daddy said, leave him. She had her daddy like on her side the whole time. She would act like she had nobody. Like, why are you living with a man in the basement? I, I, I really just want to say that. Why are you living with a man in his basement? We got a whole house with a father that clearly cares about you. Like, why are you in his basement? Especially when, especially when we found out that Queen had the option to sleep in the twin bed upstairs because they had an extra room. If you wanted space, or if he wanted space, you could sit out to that extra room. Like, why you in the basement with his ass? Or why did you move all the way out? Like, you had support, though, girl. This is my point. You had support. It towards Leslie and Clarence. You brought up a conversation that happened with a grandmother, right? Because this is Clarence's mom. Who the grandmother to his son to the woman that you're talking about that has to be with this woman for the rest of her life. You totally messed up girl code altogether and brought up a conversation and brought his mother in it and mentioned something about a third party. That text message he saw was about them. That wasn't about a third party. What Queen got to do with this? What was your point of saying that? Like, that is a good point. I really forgot about that in all the midst of all this drama, but like, we talking about how Queen ruined your relationship, but here you go talk about his mama loved me or this and all this happened. But like, where, where did that come from? Exactly. Like me and a dude dating, I get close to his mother. She tells me stuff. We break up. He move on to another girl. And I tell the girl something that the mother said. She didn't break up with me. The boy did. <laughs> Even then, though, I love all my brother exes. I be loving them like they my sisters. When they break up, we break up too. That's just how the cold go. I mean, I don't know why she expected the mom to still be there, like consoling her and being, you know, her other mom. You have a whole family that you moved back to. So like, that's, that's their job at that point. You know what I'm saying? The mother ain't got nothing against me. She, she even said it in her video that she reached out to her. I also just want to say, Leslie, what, what was your purpose in that? Sounds like, oh, his mom loved me. His mom saying that she's not going to be in the videos. Her mom been in videos happier than I've ever seen a woman be happy. Like, she is a beyond happy woman. She's a funny woman. She's a well taken care of woman. She don't look unhappy to me. And she be sitting next to Queen. Queen bought her, like, a lot of stuff for her birthday. Like, some good household items. But his mom is not materialistic. Like, 
you thought you had that edge that, oh, his mom loved me. His mom don't like you, but you don't know that his mom don't like her. Because clearly she do. Trying to see if she was okay. You threw a person that still had love for you, even though you're not talking to them, under the bus. Majority of the video, you was throwing the mother under the bus. The mother ain't had nothing to do with this. She didn't break up with you. Your father is not Legend's grandfather, but Clarence's mother is. And this is a woman that she's gonna have to be around for the rest of her life because they have a kid together. You see the difference? You see how a conversation about a maturity has nothing to do with you and Clarence? Someone said, I've been in Leslie's shoes, a number of us. You invest. Facts. If y'all want to hear about how I got played, I'll make a whole story time because I got played pretty bad. And that's not the first time. That was like the most recent time. But like, your girl done had some, um, some bad run-ins, but it's all about how you bounce back. It ain't about what happened to you. It's how you react to it. All this time into someone just to break up and see them do and have everything you dreamed of with another person. It's a tough pill to swallow, but at the same time, you got to move on. I saw in the comments where a lot of people were saying that, oh, Queen trapped him, I agree, and, you know, stuff like that. Let me see where I'm going with this. Let me see where I'm going. <laughs> oh, okay. I know where I'm going with this, but I'm trying to be careful because people get, you know, in their feelings and shit. What people have to understand is that you're not God, right? And and that that's the problem. We forget that as humans. You are not God. How you feel about a situation is not the end all be all. It's not the final judgment. How you feel is simply just how you feel. It ain't fact. It ain't judgment day. It ain't nothing but just this is how I feel and it has nothing for nobody. Home with a lot of people. They think that they have everything figured out. Everything is supposed to go their way. But sometimes things happen. I'll be forgetting that too. For a reason. Because Who's to say Clarence would have been who Clarence is now? Let's say if you would have had a kid, right? Because like she said, she could have kids. It's just extra steps she has to take. Let's say you had a kid. Who's to say that the relationship that he has with Queen now would have been the same relationship he would have had with you then? Everything up in... I think he dodged a bullet genuinely. Like, if she be acting this unstable and this petty, like, anything she could say to win or just, like, have some, somebody on her side... She definitely would have kept his kid away from him. She definitely would have been on social media bashing him. I feel like he dodged a bullet. And I also do feel like a lot of things happen for a reason. If she was having problems with having kids and he was watching at the time, like even if he did try to get her pregnant and it didn't happen, he was probably protected. But that's my unpopular opinion. I mean, that's just how I see how the world works in my reality this point was for a reason because also i mean like that happens people be together and they be struggling to have a baby and then they break up and then somebody moves away and then like oh yeah she had a baby it's like dang i was trying to have a baby with you this whole time but like divine intervention sometimes it ain't meant sometimes they, i mean shoot the person most high see things that you can't see played out just the way it was supposed to play out because Thanks. if he wanted you Right? It would have been no kid. It would have been no entrapment that would have kept him from you if he really wanted you. So if he Like he said about Queen, I'm choosing her over y'all every single time. Nothing is keeping him away from Queen. So facts. Facts. And I learned it the hard way, sis. If he ain't pursuing you, if he ain't going as hard as you want, he was not the one. And it hurt. And he I'm glad y'all ain't know me, but even if y'all did, y'all wouldn't see me on the internet crying. Wanted you, he would have been with you. And it would have been no baby that would have stopped him from being right with you. So what happened was meant to happen because he didn't want you. So you're not even going to mention the stuff that I'm he with was her saying. I'm with her 100%. At her and her dad and saying she made a diss record. When she didn't, it's like, damn, they paying you that much? Let's talk about what he... You letting your friends friends or cousins, I don't know who it was. If you letting them make a diss track and you know about it, you still wrong because that looks bad on you. Them your friends. You need to be like kind of in charge of your friends because that's your relationship and that's your ex that they're bashing and you love them at one point or if you still love them to that day, you shouldn't let nobody bash them in public like that. That was wrong. Said about her. <laughs> Let's talk about that because I already answered the question about the father. 
he talked about her. And even that comment he mentioned was still about her in him. It wasn't about a third party though. In her video, she brought up the grandmother and threw the grandmother under the bus. Then she brought up Queen and tried to insinuate that Queen trapped Clarence. Do you not see how those two videos are two different things? She's not coming what back from this. What did they have to do with it? And then you wasn't even mindful of a child that's already involved. I'm not discrediting her health issues. You know what I mean? I feel for her. But you didn't even take in perspective of the child that was already here. A child that will later on see this and see that you're... And not like you automatically, because that's his mama. And that's his daddy. He can be like, oh, she bitter. She always going to be forever be seen as bitter, because he's going to be like, dang, you didn't want me here. You thought I'm the reason. You thought my existence is the reason why my dad didn't love you no more. Hey, the only reason why he exists is because she couldn't birth a child herself. You totally discredit this boy's life because of how you felt. And that's how, you know, Clarence didn't tell no lies about her playing the victim because he says it's impossible because he wasn't actively even trying to have a baby with her. She's probably on birth control because if she's one of those people who track her ovulation, she had to be on birth control because she didn't want to be on, she didn't want to have no kids at the time. They live in a basement. There was no way you could have a child because y'all weren't trying for one. So if, unless y'all was actually trying for one, I'm pretty sure she would have mentioned that. I'm pretty sure she would have said, we were trying to have a baby, I just couldn't, like, in the mix of her emotional spill, she would have said that. So you weren't even trying to get pregnant or trying to have a child. So how dare you say that? Personally, a boy that didn't even have nothing to do with this. Legend has nothing to do with this. You just totally discredit his life. Pay me. Pay me to say what? The truth? Because if one or more agrees, at some point it's not kissing ass. At some point, these are just facts and you just have to deal with it. Like, we, we got to start running with this, oh, you get paid, you get paid, you get paid. No, sis. It's not about getting paid. It's about knowing where you fucked up at. And I'm just the person to tell you. Now, if you want to say something. I thing, love her. She is so wrong. Okay, granted, I would have gave you that. You just sat up here and made a comment about something that had to do with a child that wasn't even involved. Come on. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know. I be so bent on watching Martin Lewis. The voice for the people is like raw. Like she gets straight to the point. Like she's a hurt pain. She don't care about nothing. I like this woman. I really do. I'm glad somebody told me to react to this video. But sis ain't tell no lies. Sis ain't said nothing wrong. And how she felt was simply how she felt given the facts. I fuck with that she didn't like take old girl side just because she's a woman. We got to stop doing that, like, because I've seen, in my personal experience, I've seen a lot of women lie just because they hurt, just because they mad. And, shoot, the way Leslie folded so bad in that last video, I mean, I can't, I can't look past the fact that she might be a liar. She might be playing the victim. You know, victims use any little, little piece, little edge they can get to win. So, Leslie didn't seem like that type at first. But the way she folded in that last video, Leslie is that type. Leslie did try to paint herself as a different kind of person. And she did used to be like, oh, she did mention that, oh, I'm a classy woman. Classy women don't put other women under the bus. Classy women don't be sitting there blaming a baby while a man didn't come back. Why did you let the man leave? Why did you leave? Why didn't you stay and work it out? Why were you in a dark space for so many years? Cause she's, I was in a dark space at the time. You don't get left just for being in a dark place for like three months. You get left for being in a dark space for like years and you're not changing because if y'all keep having the same issues, why would somebody want to come back? Especially when you vibe with this person, y'all going through the same thing. Like literally Chris was hell, Leslie was hell, and these people found peace. What does Leslie want from us at this point in time? Like what does she want from us? And what does she want from us when she started this whole journey. Why did you come on here to fold? Did you come on here to get closure that you weren't a good enough woman? Did you let them voices in your head that be telling that you ain't shit, that we all got really get the best of you? Because honestly, truly, you being able to bear children, that's a personal issue. That's that's how she feel about herself. They ain't got nothing to do with Clarence. Well, Clarence, didn't, Clarence don't want no kids right now. Clarence is trying to get to where he want to get and then when he get comfortable, he get established and he want to have kids. That's why he be telling Queen, like, yeah, I want another kid, but we got to wait. We got things we got to accomplish.
I don't know why she thinks bearing children had anything to do with it. Because you always adopt. Do people forget that you adopt kids? It's so many kids in the world that need families and need homes. Y'all can get a whole puppy. Puppies suffice as well, too. I don't know why Leslie came and brought drama to Queen and Clarence's life, but they don't bother. Queen is used to being bothered by the public. She's used to opinions that's not welcome. She's used to people reaching and making the different scenarios. But you know what Queen don't do? Queen don't fold on the internet. You know who folded in a matter of three days? Leslie. So was Leslie really built for this lifestyle that she wanted so bad that she tried to fight and tried to squeeze and mingle her way back into? Was Leslie really built for this? These internet warriors, these internet thugs, they're not gonna quit. They're not gonna go away. That's that's what they like to do. And you can't avoid that. Whether you're famous on, a, on Instagram or you're famous in like, you know, from doing boxing, you're famous for being a singer, trolls gonna be everywhere. She folded that fast and that bad, she folded like, really horrible like you crying on camera like i said in my video the worst place to cry is on the internet we'll never forget it when you sit there and try to act all big and bad they can pull up your crying video and then guess what you back to crying again it's just like if you can't handle the internet make your page private get off youtube this ain't for you sis because honestly your skin is built like balloons you got balloon skin a needle come pop it you're gone Need skin like leather. Leather still good. You poke it, leather still look the same. Your skin ain't tough enough. I keep saying how she helped him, like her experience with him helped him be a better man for Queen. But honestly, him stepping away helped her be a better her because she she was gonna fall worse. She's gonna fall a long time ago. She is not built for this. So him stepping away and falling in love with somebody that's built for this. Match made in heaven. I mean, it was fate. What can you say? And that's all I got to say on that. And thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below because you know I love hearing y'all comments, good or bad. Shoot, if I'm biased, let me know. Like, I don't, I don't care. Like, call me out. And then I'll check myself if you got some presentable facts. Otherwise, I mean, like, shoot, let me know your thoughts in general. I love going back and forth and love the feedback. And talk to y'all next video.